Typhoon Haiyan was unlike any other disasters that hit the country. The usual communication devices that we use in other disaster operations will not be effective in establishing communications for Typhoon Haiyan. When Yolanda happened last 2013, uh, the first thing that the DSWD uh, initiated was to provide emergency telecommunications to our operations in Tacloban. So when we went there, we brought in a visa and some power equipment, and we set up a base in uh, the city hall. I can recall we were on a tent like this, we have a long line of uh, people waiting for their turn to send a tweet or a send a Facebook message or a text message. We actually saw that the general public needs to call their relatives outside of Tacloban City. It's just talking to your loved ones that brings hope. Actually, we went so much as to call it communication is aid. So DSWD, thanks to this project, is getting a donation of equipment worth uh, $300,000. So it's the latest technology. And uh, I would say very few countries have now the enabler which DSWD has to coordinate the disaster response. Given the form factor of this system, uh, as you can see, it's mobile. And that's really the criteria for response because we need to go where the need is. All you have to do is power it up with a generator or a solar cell it will automatically search the satellites of Inmarsat. That gives us the edge because you may need not to send technical people on the field. A lot of our frontliners may operate this system with limited technical skills in uh, satellite technology. Damage information is critical in disasters and uh, we use a lot of social media. So when you tweet a photo of a disaster area, that gives us the big picture in uh, the emergency operations and uh, for situational awareness of all responders. We know that there would be more massive and destructive disasters to come our way in the future. Hence, we have to look forward and uh, try to foresee what could possibly happen in order for us to properly prepare accordingly. We are actually investing so much in satellite telecommunications because we know that in the future, this will be the most reliable form of communications and the most mobile for the Philippines to deploy in every part of the country.